Hi guys, my name is Darren Van Collar. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import your real flow simulations directly into Modo. We will be looking at importing particle bin files into Modo using the integrated tools available to us. And then we'll also be looking at how to import mesh bin files into Modo using a third party plugin developed by Eric Moods called EMReader. Here I am in RealFlow 2014. I will now open a pre simulated scene I created that will be used for the duration of this tutorial. The scene is now fully loaded, and as you can see, it consists of a particle emitter, particle mesh item, and a few demons. I'll quickly move to the relationship editor and click on the frame all nodes icon so you can clearly see how the items are linked. The blue nodes represent our particle emitters. The red nodes are our demons that control or affect our particles. The green nodes represent our particle meshes and the orange nodes represent the geometry in our scene. If I scrub through the timeline, we can see the simulation in action. Before we move over to Modo, let's have a look at the Export Central panel by hitting F12 on the keyboard. Here you can see that my particle emitters, particle meshes and our geometry objects are all ticked and ready for exporting as bin files and OBJ files. For this tutorial, I've already exported the required bin file sequences and the geometry into the main project subfolders, which RealFlow creates automatically for each project. Now that I'm in Modo, I will create a real flow particle item. This can be done by going to the Item tab, then clicking on the Add Item drop down list, select Particles, Point Clouds, and Real Flow Particles. This item allows native real flow particle bin file sequences to be cached inside Modo without the need of actual geometry data being imported. While having the item selected, go to the Properties tab and select Browse. Inside my particle subdirectory within the main project folder, I will select the first bin file of the sequence and click Open. As I scrub the animation timeline, we will see the imported particle sequence. I'll select a random frame to see how this renders out. As you can see, no particles are being rendered as we need to add a blob volume to the particle cloud. This will enable us to render the particles using metaball like shapes. A blob item volume can be created by going to the add item drop down list, select volumes and then blob. Within the properties panel we can change the radius of the blob. I'll set mine to 8mm and select the particle source as a real flow particle cloud. You will now see that each particle within our point cloud will be referenced with a single 8mm blob. This will now allow me to render the point source cloud. The completed render now shows our particles, but very little detail is visible. The detail can be improved by gradually increasing the size of the blobs until you have a mesh-like appearance. I'll load an image to illustrate this effect. I've pre-rendered six different blob sizes. By increasing the blob size, you can achieve a mesh-like structure to help create the liquid mesh you are after. If you require more accuracy, I would recommend importing RealFlow meshes using a plugin called the EMReader. I'll reset the scene to show you how the plugin works. EMReader allows RealFlow meshes to be cached inside a Modo for animating and rendering. 
To add the in reader item, go to the items tab, select the add item drop down list, Mootsoid EM Reader. In the properties box of the EM Reader item, I'll change the index value to 0. The index number represents the cache file number of the simulation within the project folder. So in this case, I want the simulation to start at 0. Next, I'll select the browse button. Inside my meshes subdirectory within the main project folder, I will select the first bin file of the sequence and click open. I'll now scrub the animation timeline. As you can see, we don't have any simulated meshes. This is because we need to animate the index value within the properties box of the EMReader item. The index value is already set to zero, so I will now select the channel radio button to the left of the input box and place my first keyframe. I'll now move the timeline to frame 300 and then go back to the index value box and input 300. Hit enter to place the last keyframe. I will now scrub the animation timeline to see the mesh simulation. Note the detail that can be achieved by imported real flow meshes. I'll select a random frame to see how it renders out. The details shown in this render are really good, but let's add a material to the mesh item. So there you have it, two easy ways to import real flow liquid simulations into Modo. If you want to see more of my work, please visit my website, or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for watching.